Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to be talking about titles. So another great place to include your keywords is in the titles of your web pages. So let me just type in the new Boston. All right. So most of the time, whenever you type something in Google, this big bold thing that appears the main heading for each search result is going to be the title of that page so this says the new boston free educational video tutorials that's what this is right here and in html let me pop up this all right all right so this would go in between the title tags right there now a couple things that we have to look out for is first of all your title should be a descriptive and detailed overview of each web page. So a really bad idea whenever you're making, let's say you're trying to make uh, the new Boston, if you just stuck the new Boston and that's it for the title of every single web page, then Google's gonna have a really difficult time telling the difference between the home page and the forum and the profile pages. So in your title, whenever you're at someone's profile put the new boston profile the new boston uh videos if you're at the videos page and just not some generic you know like my store as the title on every single web page now another thing let me type in like all right so another thing i want to point out is you should probably keep your titles limited to under 65 characters now the reason for that is like i said this is the main thing that the user is going to see whenever they are looking at your search results. So they're going to read this, and if it's too long, for example, this one down here, Core and Vegetable Directory, watch your garden grow, it gets cut off. You see that there is that little ellipsis, and it doesn't have room for the full title. So you always want people looking for your webpage to be able to read the full title and watch your garden grow what? Watch your garden grow weed? Watch your garden grow to enormous sizes and eat you? I don't know, what is it? So again, just keep your titles limited. Now, another thing I wanna point out is this. It's better to have your specific keywords closer to the beginning of your title. So, for example, on my website, I wanted the new Boston in every title, no matter if it was the videos pages, the profile, whatever. So on this one, it's the new Boston free education. On this one, it was, let's see, the new Boston videos, whatever. Now on my profile right here, I actually took the new Boston and before it, I wrote Bucky Roberts because whenever someone is looking for Bucky Roberts, the new Boston, I don't want the new Boston to appear first because they're looking for me. So I want the first thing that they see is Bucky Roberts. Now, when words are closer to the beginning of your title, this tells Google that these words are more important. So again, the further you go, I don't know, maybe if it's the 30th word of the title, it's really not that important. So again, stick your important keywords at the beginning. And by important, I mean the keywords that are specific to this single page. Now, the last thing I want to point out is I like typing in buy stuff. So buy, buy nothing. <laughs> that doesn't really hurt. Buy a star. All right. There we go. And by the way, now that I'm just talking about this, I heard that you can never really buy a star. Like this is kind of some big scam. So basically no one can just like own a star because I oh, know you can't. So anyone can just be like, hey, just buy a star. We're gonna print out some certificate and mail it to you. But you know, it's not like legal or anything like that. So guys, don't buy stars. Um, I don't know. I saw it on Reddit and I'll pretty much believe anything that's on there. <laughs> so let's get, get sidetracked again. Come on, Bucky, let's focus here. All right, so what I want to say is the title of your webpage, it isn't just for search engines. I know you're gonna have a lot of juicy keywords that you wanna target, a lot of phrases that you want your webpage to appear at the top of the results. So you think, all right, if I wanna make buy a star, I'm just gonna name my title buy a star, purchase, um, own, new stars, naming stars, whatever. So you can do all of that, but who's gonna click a title that pretty much just has a bunch of random words in it? These titles are also for users. So whenever a user is looking at this, not only do you have to have a title that is gonna appear at the top of the search results, but you have to have a title that makes sense, that grabs their attention, 
that makes it something that they want to click. And this is kind of a marketing technique where you just can't have like a bunch of random keywords. That's not even a sentence. So not only do you have to make a title that is going to be juicy with keywords, but make sure to grab a person's attention. We're building these pages for humans, not search engines. And lastly, since I have some time, I'll talk to you guys about the meta description. So basically we know that, let me type in something else. This is annoying me for something. Buy a house, actually buy a domain. That's kind of computer related. All right, so buy a domain. We know that this big blue thing is the title of your website. The thing that appears under it in green is the URL. Now this right here, the text that this is, is the meta description. Now, if you're ever making a website, the meta description is this right here. It kind of looks like this. So any meta tag, this is data about your website, but it doesn't actually display on your website anywhere. It's basically just background information about, I don't know, maybe the browser or maybe for search engines. It's data that you don't want the user to typically see. Now, this description right here, what it is is basically, how can I say this? It's a slightly um, longer description of your page. So, let me pop this back up. Where the heck is it? There it was. All right. So, this is going to appear under the title. And by the way, if you just don't have any meta description at all whenever you're making your website, then what Google is likely going to do is it's just going to grab the first chunk of text and use that as your meta description. So that's what that's what it's gonna appear or display right there. Now, it's a good idea to stay under 160 characters for the same reason as the title. So you see that this is a good description. It's not too long. You can read the entire thing. This right here is a little bit too long. So it's it gets cut off at the end right here. And again, whenever a user goes to GoDaddy, they never see that description. So why would you ever have a description that's not going to be seen by anyone, essentially? I don't know. Who knows? So again, whenever you're making your titles and your meta descriptions, make sure to add keywords in those. Again, don't add your keywords like 800 times. A good uh, point of focus, I guess, or kind of a target is to include a keyword once in your title and once in your description. And also make sure that neither of them are too long attention grabbing and readable for humans, not search engines. So there you go. Hopefully you guys learned a little something. And uh, yeah, again, like you can see right here, register a domain, register a domain. Hey, include your keywords in the description and you'll be one happy guy. I'll see you guys next time.